Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Mount Dirkling. Now, um, in the last episode, um, I worked in the last episodes, I should say, I worked on this uh, RMC over here. Uh, I really like the way it has uh, become. I think it's really nice here on this uh, part of the village. Uh, there's another ride that I really want to build in this park, and that is a Ferris wheel. And I think a, a big Ferris wheel would fit very nicely here on this uh, side of the mountain, right uh, next to the top. Now, I was also considering building a smaller Ferris wheel right over here. But I think uh, right here on the mountain is a nicer spot and it would uh, enable more guests uh, to see it. I think this side of the mountain top is uh, much nicer for the Ferris wheel. Now, like I said, I want to make it a big Ferris wheel. So, uh, yeah, it will probably look a bit like the one from Mount Dirkling, but uh, uh, that one I didn't use a shoestring. And uh, for this one, I do want to uh, make a shoestring for it. So, uh, yeah, I will just start by building the track for it. And after that, I'm going to try and uh, get the uh, vehicles on it to spawn. And of course, I will also have to build a nice path for it. What I will probably end up doing is uh, yeah, just create a path down from this side and from this side and they will both converge on a little plaza here which will have the entrance to the queue for the ferris wheel. And <laughs> I really hope guests uh, won't get lost at uh, this point trying to get back to an area of the park that's over here. And if that happens I'll just make an underground path uh, to connect to this uh, underground path. Uh, this underground path, I have uh, moved it a little bit, um, moved it a little bit to the back here, and that's uh, just to make some space for the shoestring track that I'm going to build here for the Ferris wheel. Okay, um, I will just start by doing some uh, landscaping, figure out where I want to have the Ferris wheel, and after that, I will start building the wheel for it. Alright, this will be the area where I want the base of the ferris wheel uh, to be. Uh, I'll try if I can get it a little bit uh, more compact, but uh, this uh, th this will probably be the area I'll uh, I'll get to work with. I've made a little plaza here, like I said. Um, I might break it up a bit more with some maybe a tree in the middle, something like that. But for now, uh, this is what it's uh, going to look like. And uh, yeah, right now I will start on the wheel. I want it to be a big ferris wheel. So, uh, yeah, let's see uh, how uh, much uh, space I'm uh, going to need here. Okay, I think this will be a nice location for the wheel. Now, uh, I've actually used these uh, transitions from horizontal to uh, steep from the twister coaster track. I uh, don't often use these for a ferris wheel, but of course they are the most smooth transition you can get. 
So I think this uh, wheel looks nice and uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty circular. So that's always good for a Ferris wheel. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, uh, yeah, actually make try and make the track function. So for that, I will make a station here, and I'll do the shoe stringing just uh, to get the vehicles uh, yeah onto the track. And uh, well, basically, I want to have one vehicle on a track with a chain lift uh, that will propel the um, the vehicles forward and it will also decide the right duration I will have one vehicle on the track with uh, with just brakes and that will make sure that the that will make sure that the trains uh, will always travel at a constant speed and the rest of the vehicles will just be on this uh, uh, circular track here but first uh, before I do this I have to know how many of these vehicles will fit on this uh, wheel so that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm just going to uh, make a train, merge it to this track and just see how many I can fit uh, on this wheel. Okay, this amount of vehicles seems like a nice fit for the Ferris wheel. So we have uh, 35 cars, so I'm going to add two cars and then because uh, I will need those for the two control tracks and then the rest uh, will fit on the circular track. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, uh, 37 cars, just need to remember that. Uh, with that out of the way, I can uh, start on actually making the control tracks. So I will start by building a station here. I will then make a track down here where where I will uh, split the split up the train. I will guide one the front vehicle to the control track, second vehicle to the brake track, and the rest uh, onto this circular track. Okay, everything should be in place now. So I've made the uh, Ferris wheel track for the eventual vehicles to go on. I've made the, let's say, the actual ride with, which spawns the vehicles and where I will uh, split the train on. And here underground, I've uh, wiggled in a control track which will fit all this uh, underground uh, space. Okay, so uh, now all that's left is to test the ride and after that uh, I'll have to make certain parts invisible and uh, do the supports and decorations. Okay, the ride seems to be uh, functioning, so it looks like I did everything uh, correctly here. That's always a relief. <laughs> um, okay, so we have the entrance and exit here. I'll have to connect those and uh, I still have to uh, make supports and I'll have to hide this uh, control track uh, underground. So there's still uh, quite a lot uh, to do. So uh, I'll just uh, get started with it.
All right, the wheel is now opened to guests. <laughs> I hope they can actually uh, find it because uh, they will need to go in this underground path here. And I hope they don't uh, get uh, stuck anywhere trying to uh, to go there. But that's something uh, we'll uh, have to find out. Uh, for now, it seems like uh, the guests are able to find this ride. Uh, the capacity is quite high, so the queue uh, is actually quite short, short compared to the amount of guests it can fit. But I think the queue uh, will look nice here. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, I think it will look cool here, uh, being uh, on the very edge of the mountain here. I will make some more of those uh, volcano rocks here. I think it will look uh, pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm just going to work a bit here on uh, making a platform for the ride. And uh, yeah, just making this uh, rock face uh, look nicer. Alright, the ferris wheel and the queue are now pretty much done. Uh, I kind of like how the queue uh, goes uh, along the edge of the cliffs here. Now I do have to uh, extend these cliffs a bit uh, to this side and to this side. So that's something I will do uh, uh, a bit later in this episode. For now I, I'm just going to add some uh, plants here on the top. Just to make it look a little bit uh, nicer. Thank you. 
Alright, I really like the location of the ferris wheel. Also with the queue right next to the cliff here. Um, I'm really happy with the way it uh, looks. And uh, yeah, it seems the guests uh, are able to uh, find it, so that's uh, nice. Uh, yeah, it's a ride with a huge capacity. I don't know how popular it will be later on uh, in the park. Uh, or well, later on in the lifetime of Mount Ducklink. But for now the guests uh, really uh, seem to be uh, heading towards it. So yeah, that's uh, it's nice. Always nice to see a full queue. Okay, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this. Um, now, for the rest of this episode, uh, well, I already did all the decorating here that I want to do. Um, for the rest of the episode, I think it will be nice to uh, have another patron in the park. And I think here on top of this building will be a nice spot for another one. All right, the patron that we will put here will be, um, so let's get the entire name, that will be Shin Kitchen. Oh, he has been a member on my Discord for a long time. He's also one of our uh, staff members. Uh, Shin Kitchen keeps uh, a nice uh, log of, of uh, the best pallets that have been used in our parks uh, and also makes, them, makes it easy for people to download those. So yeah, definitely uh, go to our Discord and check out Shen's uh, kitchen if you want uh, some nice pallets to use in your parks. I'm uh, really happy that uh, Shen Kitchen keeps uh, track of these. Okay, um, I hope that Shen uh, likes his uh, position in the, in the park here. Uh, I really uh, appreciate your uh, support. Alright, uh, that was it for this episode. Uh, I'm really happy with uh, uh, this new addition to the park. And uh, I'll see you again in the next episode. See you later.